so it can feel really, really overwhelming when you're starting. And I think the Nike, just do it. Just jump in and don't feel so silly because you're going to learn with your student. You're going to learn with your own child. And that's okay. Just try to stay a little bit ahead. I've uh, talked about the Strive for Five activity where you're thinking about five words that you're going to model. You're not thinking about every word in the whole device because that's overwhelming. You're thinking about how can I help you in this one activity? How can I think about a few words that we can model and just have fun with it? The more you're having fun, the more engaged that individual will be. We know that there's often a lot of anxiety that goes along with having Rett syndrome, and the more we are uptight and anxious and demanding, the worse it's going to be for our students. So another thing to remember is up with invitations and down with demands. Please don't ask your student to try to say something. Don't say, prove to me that you're smart. Show me where, fill in the blank, where dog is. Show me more. Show me, no show me. We're just modeling and if they come up with a word, then we're trying to attribute meaning and show how we can use that word. We, we are not asking people to point to specific items. We're not testing we're talking. We're not testing, we're teaching. I'm, my husband is a high school history teacher and he makes stories out of it. His, his kids are never bored. And so we can tell stories using devices. We can give information that's really engaging. We can teach our students to make comments. So while we're teaching some really um, powerful history lessons. So we're talking about World War II and we're talking about Hiroshima and now our students are giving comments. So I had students who, these are some of the comments they made talking about the atom bomb. They did worried and burst and down and worried again and scared and blast. So they were using words to talk about it. If they don't already know those words, I can model those kinds of words to talk about whatever your topic is. I guarantee you if you have a good communication system, a good language system on your device, you can find words to talk about it. You don't have to have the word Hiroshima. You don't have to have the word atomic. Just use simple words that help us understand that it's bad and it, it came down and people were scared. So we can use simple words to talk about complex topics. So we can teach anything. If you're talking about math and you're talking about geometry, I can, you know, in, we're talking about unknown numbers and solving for X. We can say, don't know, try to get it. You know, I will help you. We can use that language to talk about some really powerful concepts.